Good afternoon. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations. How are you all doing? We are going to do part two of the baby album. So let's get right to it. I have gotten rid of that background craziness on here and everything else. So let me get these wires out of the way. Okay. We have gotten rid of that red rectangle square. I finally figured out how to get rid of that. So we don't need that in there anymore because that was an eyesore. So we don't need to see that. So I have my holes punched and I went ahead to save time. I have all of these cut and laminated, all my pages cut and laminated, and I have the stickers on double-sided and everything because I wanted to save time and I will tell you how I did that okay so I had to go in and <sighs> retape and re-glue these pockets I don't know how my other crafty gal Vioni creates makes this stay closed without popping open I'm sure she's had issues before too but I think I finally got it to work Barely Arts glue is the key. I tell you, that glue works great. I finally got it to work. So if you want glue that works, Barely Arts. I tell you, Barely Arts glue. Man, I love that stuff. So, finally got that. So I have six holes. Okay. And I have my holes above the pockets. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? Hopefully you guys can see, okay? So I have some blue stretchy. You guys can see that? Da, da, da. So we are gonna weave this in and out of our holes. And this should work. So we are going to go, if I remember how to do this, let's see, I'm trying to remember how they, how they did this, I can't remember if it was like this, okay, we're just I think you go up one side. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Because you want to be able to get it all in the holes. I'm not sure if I'm doing No, I don't think I'm doing this right, y'all. This is a learning curve for all of us. So we're just gonna do this as we go, okay? So what I did is I got that. You wanna cut your pages at, um, for this album, you wanna cut your pages at seven by five, kinda like an A7 size card. So I cut my pages at seven by five and I shoved two at a time in a laminator and I glued or taped these to a 110 pound weight size cardstock because this paper on the front that came in this baby paper stuff was just paper thin so it had to go on thicker cardstock so that is what I did and now that I have more light on me I see that I have extra pieces of plastic poke it up so we're going to do every other one so we're going to do this one that one there that one there this one or this one this one this one that one that one okay so we're going to try and figure out how to get these in the holes. So these are all seven by five and I made it to where they should. And it's okay if they go, you know, at the pockets. So we're gonna go with the last one. 
And actually we need to get some of these in first too. So let's get some of these in. So how are we gonna do this? So one, I wanna make sure I do this correctly. Then map. Okay, and then the green safari. And then the this one. Okay. And then the blue stripe and then the orange one. Okay, got that. So we're gonna put these blank ones in first. So we're gonna put the orange one in, the orange striped one in. So I gotta figure it how to, yeah. We'll, we'll get this, right? So I've got this, I think we go this way. So I think we have to put all of our pages in first. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do it that way because all my holes should be pretty much even. <sighs> I hope. I don't know. Let's just. Try going through one and then see if I do this right, because I don't know. Okay, I think that's how you do it. Kind of like that, but I could be wrong, I don't know. Just that's not how I was doing it before. Uh, you know, making an album can be such a struggle. So I'm going to do it the way I'm just going to try. I don't know how. I'm just going to go through one set of holes. And then if we have to, we'll just bring it up through because I'm trying to remember how I did this. So I'm going to go through the top hole because I can't remember how to do that weavy thing. And the other holes I'll use for hanging a pendant and other stuff that I need to do like ribbon and whatnot. Maybe if I can get this in correctly. We'll make it work. We will. Then I should have only used two holes. No! I gotta pay attention to that. Crazy. Laptop. So now I'm going to go up through this one. Uh, no, this one, this side, this side, this side, this side. Okay. And then down through here, I think I might have gotten it. So, no, that's not how I do it. <laughs> okay, take it out of this second hole because it's just driving me utterly crazy. Because that's not usually how I do it. I thought I had this, and I, I don't know. I've seen Eileen Hole do this, and. Up that way, okay, this way, and then this way, and I'm just going to do it this way. I just don't know how they do all that fancy, stretchy ribbon stuff. I just do it this way, 
So we're just going to do it that way. So I'm going to get them in this way. Well, I was going to try and do a short video, but Or maybe what they do is after they do that, then they, and then I'm going to add some pockets to this. Because this is how I did my Christmas album. I was going to try and do it the way I was seeing Eileen Hole do her thing that she was doing. And I was like, oh, okay. And now I can't seem to do it. So I'm going to have to go back and watch her video and see how she did her holes. But I just can't. My brain is not computing how she did it. That's okay. None of us are perfect, right? Can't be perfect. I'll be perfect crafters. I think hers came with a die set or something. I don't know. Hers came with a die album set or something. I don't know how she did hers. I'm doing mine all by freehand and everything else, and I just can't. But I'm trying. Oh, and I got my, uh, y'all, I got my, uh, crafty, the Barely Arts, Barely Arts Exchange, uh, Secret Sister Exchange Ornament Exchange Gal today, and I'm excited. She is a very beautiful person, and she has the same faith that I do, so that makes me extremely happy. So she is a sister in Christ, so I am excited. So I, I kind of spilled out my guts to her, so I hope I didn't scare her away. No, <laughs> told her about my YouTube channel and everything and, and all that fun stuff, too. So, no, she, she seems like... Really exciting. She has an Instagram channel, so I already followed her. We were supposed to reach out to our reach out to them before Thanksgiving, so I am already done. I already got my ornaments made, and I told her. I said, "Well, I hope you win the cricket. I hope you win the cricket maker." <laughs> I'm like, "Aren't I being nice?" So she'll probably make a better ornament than I did. So. I was like, it's okay. I have my door open here because Kodak is in here. So, oh, and I got some happy mail. I haven't opened yet. I got a a card from Debbie J's Crafting Corner, and I got some other happy mail. So I thought I'd open that while I'm on the video. So I thought I'd wait to open. That way you guys can see, too. Almost done adding the pages. So this is 12 pages all together. But what I'm going to do is add pockets and stuff to it as well. Trying to jiggle the mouse as I go along because if I don't, after so many couple of minutes, my screen goes black on me and it's like no 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 you don't so I'm trying to watch my screen too to make sure it doesn't go blank on me so I added stickers to the top of these pages because you can do it that way too and so this is going to a friend of mine who had a baby boy he was born preemie. She had him at, oh gosh, 20. Uh, if she watches this video, she can correct me if I'm wrong because I'm going to let her watch it. Um, I think he was born at 28 weeks, 29 weeks, or 30 weeks. I'm not sure, somewhere in there. But he was pretty tiny. And he made it. 
he was a tough little man and he made it so he made it I can't remember his name I'd have to look on my phone to look up his name but I'm not gonna do that so I will get his name later but I will put his name on the album and then you'll see his name but anyway so we have our pages and so this is kind of how I tie my pages on is I just do a bow like so and that's what I do and I have a bow and that way we have extra leeway and so make can add pictures to this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some extra pockets that flip out. That's what I want to do. And that way she can add extra stuff because I think I'm going to try that because I have a Tim Holtz die that I want to use, you know. So what I'm going to do, these other pages that don't have stickers, I'm going to add these other stickers to them because I didn't I have extra stickers on here and I still have these guys so I think that's what we're gonna do so so this one so we have one two three four we have five six stickers left here so we have one, two, three, four, five of these animal stickers. So I could spread these out. Let's do an animal. And let's do an elephant on this one, shall we? And you know what? Instead of putting it on the color part, I'm going to put it on the white part because they can put pictures on the white part as well. So that way the white parts have a sticker and not just, you know, that's what we're going to do. And then this one we're going to put, how about, We'll do this. I love you. And we'll do it at the bottom. Because they don't always have to be at the top. Okay, and then this green one, I think we'll put the monkey because I think the monkey just suits that one. Or no. We'll put, oh, we just put a flat one on, didn't we? We'll put the other monkey. Never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh huh. Put this monkey. Okay, and then we'll put this monkey right here. And then on this one, we'll put, how about we'll put this other monkey one on here. And we'll have to put this on the side. it's one of those long stickers it says born to be wild and then this one we will put a puppy sticker and we'll put a giraffe I can get that off And we're going to put this towards the bottom too. Because I'll probably put a pocket on the top of this one so that it folds down. And then this orange one we'll put on the other side. We'll put our wild one. And then I have some extra stickers for some pockets. I also have gems too that came with this as well. There. 
Now we have stickers on everything. So, so I still have to add his name on here. So we will do that. Oh, here. I should play. So you guys can see it. So here is this. <laughs> so you guys can see it close up. So what I did is I added Oh Baby on the front side. And I put on the back side, I added Shine shine bright on the back side of oh baby and then here's the map one where it has a car with full of the little it baby animals going on a safari because that kind of just goes with that i thought and then the back of this i put hello little one and then this one i put welcome to the jungle because it kind of goes with this green jungle theme paper. And then on the back of that I put You Are Loved. Here I added Wild About You. On the back of that I put Stay Wild My Child. And this one says Peekaboo. This has the Peekaboo and turned over and it's got a tiger. A Bengal tiger or whatever looking at you, looking at the baby, or whatever. And then this says, you are our greatest adventure. I need to turn it over and it says, dream big. And then of course we have this again, all the little baby wild jungle animals in the jungle. And then I added the elephant right there. And then we turn this over and we have I love you. And then our jungle theme. And then the monkey. And then we have that one where it says born to be wild. And then our blue striped paper and we have the giraffe. And then our last page, our wild one and our pockets. So and then actually on one of these, which one was it? This one, I believe it was. Yeah, this one, I actually made a mistake. You guys can tell I accidentally put a sticker over the hole when I actually pre-punched my holes before I put the cardstock into the thing here and I put my sticker over the hole and I totally wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, so. When you're doing these albums and you're doing your pages, you want to make sure that you're um, paying attention <laughs> and don't be like me and just in thought or something and thinking about something else and not paying attention at all. So that's what I was doing. I was totally in deep thought, thinking of something else and not paying attention to where I was putting a sticker. So I totally covered the hole, but good thing I didn't cover the whole hole and I was able to see where I could punch the hole out after I laminated it. So that is part two of the baby album and part three will be adding pockets and stuff like that. So you guys wanna see Happy Mail? Let's see Happy Mail. Let's see, I got a card from Debbie J's Crafting Corner from Debbie Jenkins. I am not gonna show her address on here, but I'm going to keep her address so I can send her a thank you card. So this is a card that I won watching her, watching a live. If I can get it out of the envelope, that is. Oh, it says Merry Christmas. And it's got her business card in it. Oh. It says scan me. Oh, she's got her own little, wow. Nice. So it's a Christmas card that she made. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? So she, she, uh, oh, see, she even has her own little, um, she 
she even has her own uh, stamp that she has hand made just for you by Debbie with a tag I like that that's cool I need to get my own um, I have a stamp that has a heart it has, says handmade but then I would have to add handmade by you know or my name and all that but I want a stamp that has my name I like that so what she did is she foiled it it looks like or unless it's mirrored cardstock that she may have foiled it. I can't remember I watched it on the live so she foiled the Merry Christmas and around the holly leaves and the berries and around the ornaments so she did foil on the inside so if you guys can see that she did foil by using her foil hot foil machine she did so that is very beautiful Debbie so if you watch this Debbie I like that oh and she added a strip on the inside it was pretty so I can actually send this to somebody else for Christmas to give away so that is probably what I will do so at least it has her name on it and I will probably do that so thank you so I got some stuff from Spellbinders because they were having another awesome awesome dollar a day sale stuff for a dollar it's the only way I shop now I don't buy stuff just to buy stuff I only get it if it's on sale for a dollar because they were having and I think that sale is now over I am an affiliate with Spellbinders so it's the only way I will buy stuff these days because I can't afford Ooh, I like that I like that I like that oh my goodness that is beautiful so this I think I only paid two dollars for it and if it's this way but look at that I'm gonna have to play with that oh look at that isn't that pretty oh my goodness that is pretty it says deck the halls that is what it says deck the halls that's what it says on the back deck the halls oh you can almost make a shaker card with that oh I am spinning now oh I can probably foil that too oh I can oh it's pretty and I got some more snowflakes oh I love it I love it pretty oh and look at this stamp set oh my gosh you guys oh this is too cute I think I only paid a dollar for this I can't believe this was on sale for like a dollar but this says my best friend is the one who brings out the best in me Henry Ford and then my favorite spot is with you because it's a leopard with lots of dots and it has a girl I'll show it to you here in a second and then it's by Jane Davenport of course I love her stuff too it's a stamp set and it's got a bow and little heart flowers and a leopard holding a girl isn't that cute look at that that's so beautiful and then I got another thing of nesting dies look at that <gasps> Uh, I think I only paid two dollars for this set of nesting dies. I'm so happy. Shall we take it out of the box? Should we? <gasps> oh, I gotta see this. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? If I could take it out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They're stitched. Oh, there's pretty. Oh, look at the fun we can have with these, y'all. Oh, I see some fun videos now in our future. Oh, with the bees, that beautiful bee stamp set that I have. With these, I can make some beautiful hexagon stuff. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oops. 
Spellbinders. You outdid yourself this time. I know what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day. <laughs> this is called Hexagon Piercing Elements Die Set. Six die templates. Wow, those are cool. So, that is my video, you all. So, I will let you go. And that is my Happy Mail. And I'm going to be having fun with that again. Ooh, that is going to be fun to play with. I'll have to be doing some videos, see if I can make a shaker card with that. But that is what it, that's what that looks like on the back. Doesn't that look fun? That looks like fun. So, anyways, that is it. And we will work on part three of baby card or baby album so we will work on part three of baby album tomorrow okay so i will let you all go right now we've been doing on for 31 minutes and seven seconds so i love you all take care always remember to be creative create something even if it isn't messy it doesn't have to be messy so like yesterday, I wasn't in a messy frame of mind, so I didn't create anything messy. And today, I don't know, I might get messy because now that I see this and I see these two things, I might just get messy. So who knows? Now my brain is spinning, so I'll create something and I'll probably post it on Instagram and it'll probably go to Facebook or something or in my Facebook group. And I will post my Facebook group down in my description box. So if you guys want to join, go ahead and Hit the join or ask to join and I'll get you in. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, how do I stop? Where's the stop button? Oh yeah, down here. Duh. Oh, nope. Let me hit stop.